Hey again guys, I've got some good news for you. Today is Wednesday, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and this is part 2 of the Multiplex Zeno build. I've spent the best part of Monday and all of Tuesday building this thing, and today I'm spray painting it. So let me show you where I'm at. Let me just turn this around. Right, so, so far, what we've got, lights are installed. Um, the lights have been put in all the way down the le leading edge of the wing. And a considerable amount of Zaki glue has been poured in there as well. Just to, uh, just to bond the foam back together and make sure the lights don't move and don't go anywhere. Give the leading edge a bit more strength as well. Uh, servos installed. Um, they get the, you get these little carbon carbon fiber rods. They're quite uh, they're a nightmare to put those in because you put them in with Zaki, and if you don't put them in really fast, they set in the wrong place. As you can see, I made a bit of a mess up this end, but it didn't quite go in all the way, and the glue dried in about two in about a split second. Um, but I managed to sort that out. That's in. Um, servos in. You get this little protective cover that goes over the servo arm so it doesn't break it when you land. Um, servo rod and the fixing. I'm going to take this off when I spray it just so that the silver bit doesn't get all gunked up with paint. Um, these bits are a bit of a nightmare to install. Uh, there's a bit of plastic cap that goes over the edge which is a support for the, um, the fin that goes on the back. And that's pretty much it. It's all box standard at the moment. These actual plastic brackets, I will say about the Zeno as well, these massive plastic brackets that you have to glue onto the wing are a nightmare. Um, I honestly wish that they would fit those in the factory and not leave it up to you to, to glue it in because they tell you to glue it in with Zaki. And the problem is Zaki dries in about one second. So you've got literally about two seconds to work with this by covering bits of it with glue in certain places and shoving this on. Now what I will say is, if you're gonna fit one of these, if you're gonna build a Zeno, um, when it comes to gluing this part on, the trick of it seems to be what I discovered. This is a really, really tight fit to get this on here. It's really tight because it goes in there as well. You've got a bit that goes in the wing there, another bit that goes in there, and this part of the wing slides underneath that as well, underneath that lip. So what I found, with it being such a tight fit, dry fit it first, no, no glue at all. Just push it into place as firmly as you can, and leave it in place for 24 hours. Um, and then you'll find when you take it off, it will go back in again much, much easier. So then when you come to gluing it, it slides in place um, you can actually get the damn thing in place quickly before the glue sets because if you try if you basically follow the instructions you'll get it wrong um, the instructions they're very good instructions but the parts are a really really tight fit so yeah before you fit these plastic the plastic hinge panel down the middle that holds the battery and the receiver and everything else in place just dry fit it first and leave it in place for 24 hours. Then when you pull the plastic out, it will go back in so much easier. Um, but being the foam, it will expand back to normal shape. So pull it off, put the glue back on and shove it back in place fairly quickly. Um, so that's, that's that really. I'm taping it up. I'm gonna leave a white trailing edge down there, 10 mil from the front, all the way down there. So I'm gonna tape up I'm going to tape it up just like that, all the way down the leading edge, 10 mil from the front, so that the lights are completely covered as well. Um, this side we're doing red, and this side we're doing yellow. Also, these little clips are a pain in the ass. I've tried to dry fit um, the fin that goes on here, and it is really, really stiff. So you may want to do something to just widen this gap here, make this gap a bit wider, and the circle that goes in there, just file it out a bit, just so that it fits in and out a lot easier. Because it's really, it's so stiff when you fit it, you can't get it out without damaging it. 
because you have to squeeze it so hard. Um, so yeah, that's that's just two two bad things I've noticed about this um, that could have been done a little bit better. But other than that, no. Simple, easy build. Um, very fiddly though, very very fiddly. Um, so the wire goes through there. The hole that goes through there is not big enough, so you'll find you have to cut that out a bit bigger. Just poke it out with a screwdriver or something. Um, but that's it really. These hinges as well, when you're gluing these hinges in place, you see these little round things here? They, they're not actually fitted to this. I don't know why, it seems to be, it doesn't make any sense. Um, these little hinge uh, hinges should ideally be fitted to this from the factory as one piece, but why they did that I don't know. Um, so you have to glue these in. Make sure you get them in really, really fast. Because if you don't, what will happen is, as you can see with mine, the first one I did didn't go in, didn't go in all the way. Um, so that one's a bit, a bit out of line with the rest of them. But I don't mind that too much because once the rod's in, it's in really firmly. So that's not going anywhere. Anyway, on with the spraying. Um, I've already started spraying the other half. So more to follow. See you later. Bye.